I know where you go. And I know what you do. Do you have a suspect in mind for these crimes? I ain't nothing to do with Irish murders. We are talking Ripper Untold. This one is directed by Steve Lawson. Steve Lawson actually brought us the recent movie Bram Stoker's Van Helsing. And I feel that's a very comparable movie as it's kind of a similar budget and it's a kind of period piece based on a well-known existing property. Of course, Dracula based on a novel whilst Jack the Ripper obviously based on a real life series of murders. So I do feel that they are, there is some kind of crossover here, and it has a similar feel, which we'll talk about. So Jack the Ripper, obviously uh, the most notorious serial killer of all time, uh, and this movie offers a new twist on the legend of Jack the Ripper. And obviously it kind of takes place, as I say, in Victorian England, and it focuses primarily on the kind of lead police detective and the medical examiner, who are dealing with the aftermath of the victims of Jack the Ripper. And it's the, kind of the relationship between those two characters uh, dealing with kind of the escalating murders on a kind of a more of a, you know, a, a, a prolific basis. And offering some idea to the identity of Jack the Ripper. Now, this film has its own interpretation, obviously, of the, of the story and will offer a new twist on the uh, on the legend i would say uh, what can we say that works first and foremost about ripper untold so this is a uh, kind of a period more of a, more of a drama than a horror to be honest with you there are a couple of gory scenes and there are obviously people getting murdered so it may fall under that kind of horror umbrella to a certain degree but it feels much more like a drama so we'll call it a horror drama perhaps so the tone of this, this film is, feels very much like a made-for-TV kind of BBC miniseries, that sort of thing. It has that kind of feel to it. A slow-moving, almost procedural, you know, obviously Victorian uh, police-era investigation into this kind of most notorious of serial killers. So that may sit well with some, certainly a, a kind of a, you know, a, a, a specific genre, shall we say. Maybe not well with others. But nonetheless, I did enjoy this slow pace as it pertains to our t two main characters. The police detective and the medical examiner, I thought were both very well acted. For the most part, the medical examiner, there's one or two scenes around, I think he quite nailed. But for the most part, i got to say... I really enjoyed their performances, and I also really enjoyed the way these characters are both written. They are both um, driven individuals who have flaws in their kind of personality. And I like the fact for a relatively, you know, let's call it a B-movie, low-budget kind of uh, production, I think we have some quite interesting and in-depth characters. Harder, you know, made harder by the fact this is a, a period piece. But I did, I did enjoy their characters and I did enjoy their performances. And I think the, the, the real strength of this movie is on those two kind of characters and actors doing the bulk of the kind of the heavy lifting. There are a couple of reasonable gore shots here, although we never actually see the murders themselves. But there are, we do see some kind of autopsy scenes and a couple of kind of like um, bits of organs being taken out. So there are a couple of reasonable kind of like quote unquote gore scenes or at least kind of like um wound scenes exactly you know i think it, that are pretty good and i do like the way this movie offers a number of perspective uh suspects that jack the ripper may be it does kind of settle on one so in this particular movie we, we, we you, you will kind of get the answer maybe who who jack the ripper is based on this obviously story uh, but it, it, obviously the, the, the whole thing with Jack the Ripper, it, it was never really uh, found out who it was. There were suspicions and things like this. And then the movie does touch on this. and But it gives you at least some options about who it could have been. And I think that was that was quite good. I, I quite enjoyed some of the, uh, 
the old school kind of the way the, the characters are kind of talking and kind of Victorian, you know, London, how, how they are moving, you know, they're set in their ways. And there's some, there's some, um, a little bit of commentary on maybe uh, how people have changed throughout the series, for, 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 through that times, for example, um, our views on race and things like this. Uh, there's a character, for example, who automatically thinks it's kind of like a, a foreigner and stuff like that. Maybe it hasn't changed, who knows? But, you know, again, I, I, there were some there were some little bits of good writing here that I thought were, were quite were, were quite good. The movie never pretends it's, it's kind of an out-and-out -out slasher film. This is much more of a character-driven movie. And I think it, it, it's, its main strength is the... The uh, the adaptation of these kind of characters and the way they are portrayed to make likable and interesting characters, and I think in a done in a, in a way that doesn't kind of make it too schlocky. I, I feel this movie does actually have a degree of um, authenticity to a certain point. I mean, when ultimately the killer revealed, it kind of goes into its own thing then. But nonetheless, I do feel. It takes the subject matter somewhat kind of seriously, and I think benefits from that. Uh, what doesn't work? I think the pace will be too slow for some. It is very much people talking in rooms, and it isn't the most of it exciting of films. For a, if you are expected to see a slasher style um, horror movie, then I think you'll be bitterly disappointed in this one because, we, as I say. We never really see Jack the Ripper in action. It is all after the fact. And I do feel the movie does take, on occasion, uh, a couple of um, story kind of B-plots that I feel take away a little bit from the, 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 the plot overall. Some of the other acting from some of the smaller parts here I don't think was up to the, the, the scratch of our main two characters. And there are, maybe not necessarily, I wouldn't go as far as say that there's any necessarily bad acting here, but there is some kind of noticeable difference, I would say, in in some of the performances uh, from characters that I really liked from our, our main two guys to some which were a little weaker from kind of some of the smaller characters themselves. The reveal of, in at least in this movie, about who Jack the Ripper uh, but was, in this universe at least, uh, I think is an interesting take, although I purists may be a little bit, uh, you know, pot, pot, perturbed by it to some degree. Uh, but nonetheless, I think it kind of is an interesting, for me at least, it was an interesting and uh, unexpected direction that they went. And if we compare this movie to the kind of the Bram Stoker uh, Van Helsing movie, which was really just an adaptation of part of the Bram Stoker's Dracula novel, I think the one of the benefits of this one is it does maybe try and do something a little bit different and have a little bit of a, um, a zig where it could have zagged. Although, like I've said, I think maybe purists may be put off by uh, this new adaptation of this kind of true life event. Um, I think it would have benefited from maybe having some scenes actually involving the kills. We get like the briefest of like, the flashes of images and stuff, but we never really see any kind of stalking. So it never really feels like a scary movie as such, and and, as it, and it makes it feel more of a procedural kind of drama. But I think the movie would have benefited from trying to make it a little bit more kind of scary or um, tense at times by having, you know, scenes where ultimately we you you know that this this woman this prostitute may is going to end up getting killed, and we get one kind of scene leading up to it, but we never actually see the the act itself. And I think again, I think that was a missed opportunity. Let let's say. And the final thing I would say is, I think the movie's overall kind of look is a, just a, a tad drab. Um, we are dealing with Victorian era England, so I do appreciate that. But there's a distinct lack of locations here, um, where we, we a lot of the films are, a lot of the kind of sequences are filmed in very drab, boring-looking rooms, and it gives this movie this kind of like a, a, a kind of cheapness feel to it, and a, and a kind of a, a a dullness to this kind of the visual kind of style of it. Overall, though. I was enjoyed this movie a lot down because of the main two actors. I thought they were both very charismatic and interesting characters. And to me, that really kind of pushes this movie to an above average 
kind of movie for a kind of a low budget straight to DVD flick. And I think if you are a fan of period pieces, of kind of more of procedural uh, crime dramas, that sort of thing, it's worth a watch. If you're watching it, if you want to watch it for a I don't know horror film, then then maybe you would, uh, I would look to more of slasher films. But as it is, I did enjoy this movie, and I was kept entertained and enthralled by our two main characters there. So therefore, I'll give it a six out of ten. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I shall look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.